Okay. Welcome everybody. Welcome back to ESA Together. My name is uh, Double Double, and I will be here to show off Disney Stars and Untamed, a launch setup for the GameCube. Although it is also available on PlayStation Two, uh, but the GameCube version is what we're running today. We're also playing the uh, NTSC version of the game because, with like the older games, uh, you have the usual. Uh, your usual thing of 50 hertz versus 60 hertz, and uh, the reason I mention that is because this game actually is uh, has a different name in Europe. The PAL version of this game is called Disney Stars and Free Ride. Um, so yeah, we have two modes here. We're going to be playing the story. Uh, we're doing any percent, which is the story mode here, and time is going to start when I select the first stage here. So if we're if we're ready, then we're gonna go in three, two, one, go. So very first in, thing in the game, mash eight to skip a cutscene. There's a lot of uh, cutscenes uh, before each level and after, and we can skip them on the first possible frame. So we just mash the button. So this game is a uh, yeah sort of action adventure game slash platformer. Uh, Although the platformer aspect of it is uh, not that present, it's mostly in these kind of stages. So what I, so what I'm doing there is I'm jumping from a uh, from a standing still position because uh, that gets me to running speed faster. Also, what I did there was rail jumping to get some boosts. Uh, we don't know why it works; it's just how the physics works. So uh, we get it. Also, here's an unskippable cutscene. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> you got me, but they're all over the place. If you see any more, hang on. And while we have the cutscene, a quick donation from Infinity Gene, five dollars. Uh, from him, um, with the message sending this five dollars towards a great cause. Best of luck on the Tarzan Run double. Thank you very much for your generous donation. Okay, so while that generation, uh, generation, donation, generous donation, that's what generation means now. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so I went for a trick. Uh, you saw me jump in place. Uh, that means I failed failed the trick because I jumped too late. So I want to jump and then land to the left, and it can skip the cutscene of Tarzan walking over the tech to that gorilla and that text box appearing. We call the gorilla skip, and it's the hardest trick in the game. Uh, this is my twelfth marathon run for this game, and I've only gotten it once <laughs> in those marathon runs. It. I don't know if it's fitting or not that the first trick in the game is the hardest. Uh, but hey, that's how it is. Now, here we have another skip coming up. This was a lot easier because if I just jump early here, I can land underneath here and grab this. Uh, those are film reels. Also, kill that guy instantly. If I get near him... Uh, I'd be getting into a str struggle where I have to mash B to fill a bar. And that's just very slow. It takes a while. So we want to avoid that. By throwing spears, we we just uh, kill him instantly. Now we're going to leave this boar alive because I, I can't throw a spear while I have a baby monkey on my back. Uh, but yeah, the film reels. Uh, they're actually very important. There's uh, So the game clearly divides itself up into two sec uh, three sections. And to access the final third of the game, we need 45. Uh, yeah, we need 45 out of the 50 of those film reels that are available uh, to proceed to the final third of the game and proceed to beat the game. Now, a trick I haven't really explained yet is uh, is rail jumping. Whenever we're sliding on the rail like th like we did uh, just now, uh, we want to jump because it gives us uh, it boosts us forward basically. Also, I want to leave this trunk in a specific position so that I get boosted all the way forward there. Uh, yeah, but yeah, the jumping from a uh, standing still position... Uh, it doesn't allow me to get running speed faster, but there's a, a bit of a build-up to running speed. There we go. Got that. 
I have to walk a little bit and then jump to get it. Uh, but yeah. Uh, while I jump, I can move at running speed while the build-up happens. Also, here we're gonna just gonna damage boost through. So we can keep moving and jump so we can like keep going at running speed. And that's the end of the first stage. Alright, so skipping another cutscene. Now we're gonna go into this blue stage. Uh, the baby monkeys that I was rescuing... Because I saved all of them in this world, as we call it, it unlocks the bungee challenge. Now, this first one is very simple. Just dodge everything. Uh, to complete it, I do have to essentially no-hit this, but, you know, this first one is very easy. It's just like that. And now listen to this. So, yeah, it's in this game. The trademark Tarzan yell that we all know and love. So we're going to go back into the first stage now, which is called Free the Young. And that's for routing purposes. Uh, there's something... So we saved the baby monkeys here, but we're going to be skipping them in World 2. So, so yeah, for all your save the animals, kill the animals enthusiast, uh, enthusiasts out there. In this room we do both. Uh, so yeah, maybe there's some more time for donations because yeah, we've pretty much seen this already. Of course. We have $20 from Sam saying thanks for everything. And thank you for your generous donation. Or generation as we are now calling it. Yes, thank you. So because I failed Gorilla Skip. So if you get Gorilla Skip, you get that, that text box that you skip. You would get that here. But since I failed it, I only get one text box here. Uh, so yeah, that's what completing the bungee challenge does. It makes those gorillas help you. And it gives us access to an alternate path. So the uh, the film reels, especially in these types of stages, and there's three types of stages, we'll be seeing all three of them in the first world. Uh, this type of sta uh, stage is called jungle exploration, and the, the way the film reels work in it is that... Uh, that's, yeah, that's those alternate paths uh, with the gorillas helping you when you yell at them. Just like you're every day at work. Just yell at people and they'll help you. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so there's alternate paths. So there's a film reel on both the regular path and the side, uh, the alternate path before they converge again. And that's something that's going to be important in the next few stages. Also, I'm going to stand on this light green patch here that I'm standing on right now. I use that as a visual cue to position myself here. Because the less walking Tarzan has to do to get on the gorilla, the better. And this game stores progress as soon as you get it. So as soon as we get it, we can pause and quit out. And there we go. That's all seven. So the routing that we have gives, gives us access to 46 of the film reels. We miss out on four of them. Uh, which leaves us 46. So we can skip one. And from routing purposes... We found that the final film reel in that stage is the slowest. So that's what we skip. Now here's the most recent heavy stage. Surf for Turk. Also get used to Turk yelling at you. Because that's what's continuously going to happen on this stage. Now I need... So each stage has... Uh, so each stage has 8 film reels. There's 3 stages. That totals 24. And then there's the film reel from the bungee challenge. And there you have it. There's your 25 per world. So we're going to have to get all 8 of them in a single attempt. If we miss one, we have to replay the stage up to that point. Uh, basically similar to what I just did with Free the Young. So I want to play it kind of safe so I don't miss any. Uh, you know, MPB attempts, if I, can, if I miss it, then uh, I can just reset. But, you know, this is a marathon run, so we're going uh, L save mode. Also, yeah, you know, if you're confused about how I got that, even though I missed it by a mile, uh, so am I, but I'm not complaining. In these, these stages in particular, the hitboxes for the... The hitboxes for the for the film reels are massive, but, you know, we shouldn't complain because it works in, the, in favor of the player. It helps because it's very wonky. Well, my lineup is a little off here, but there we go. Got number four. Okay. 
So we're going to jump over that to avoid getting on the rail. Rails are slow. I'm holding, continuously pressing up to go faster, but uh, when you're on the rail, you move at default speed. Okay, get this. Okay, missed the jump. Okay, now's a good time to talk about the health. Also, yeah, be careful for that one. That's easy to miss. And number seven is also easy to miss. So I'm going to bring up the HUD here by pressing L. Okay, come on, get that. Uh, yeah, so in the top left, you can see my health. It's 25 segments, and you can see it's like kind of like matched as five segments of five. And everything that does damage to you in this game either does three damage or five damage. Crashing into walls is three damage. Most enemies is five. And uh, the surfing stages don't have checkpoints. If you die, you have to replay the entire stage again. Uh, but we got all eight in a single try, so uh, we're, on, we're, uh, we're doing good. Now here is the first other scroller of the game. This is the water ski levels. And yeah, it's a glorified other scroller. But uh, while we read some more donations, uh, generations and uh, plug some other stuff, I'm going to have some fun. Well, of course. You're uh, having we have, fun? We have more time because if you missed the fil first film reel. <laughs> Perfect. So just go, uh, gonna get going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> All right. So I see Tarzan is driving along or uh, riding along a lot of things. So why don't we start riding on a hype train? Cheer, subscribe, get us. Why not get a hype train going? That would be amazing right now. And you know, I mentioned it a lot of times. Those subs, they get doubled by our sponsor, HyperX. So help us twice with that. And of course, you can, uh, and of course you can donate. And we actually have a few nice bits coming up. So um, this is Disney game and we have quite a few Disney ga games coming uh, along. For example, World of Illusion, and we have a character choice there. So you can either play as Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck. Mickey Mouse is currently leaving with $200 and zero for Donald. We can't let that stand. Give Donald some love, donate towards him, and maybe he can even overtake his old friend Mickey. One thing I quick, quick, quickly want to mention before you continue, while I'm reverse skiing, uh, my left and right controls are actually reversed. So I'm pressing left right now, and I move to the right. Also, yeah, there's reverse grind. So R is your trick button, but it locks your left and right, it locks your movement in place. So you don't want to really be holding it, just hold it, do the trick, and go. Yeah, this is, the, this is uh, Tarzan Hawk now. Amazing. And you know what every skater needs? Some nice shirts. And luckily we have some nice speedrunner shirts at speedrunstore.com. Get some ESA merch. It makes you look better. Maybe you can even ride like Tarzan with them. Uh, I haven't tried, but, at le uh, but I can certify you. You will go faster. And every shirt or hoodie you buy there supports ESA and, and, and its affiliates bringing you more speedrunning goodness to you at home. All right, so that was the end of the other scroller. Wasn't that fun? All right, so here's a boss fight, although I use that term very loosely because this is it. Match B at a specific speed. As long as you match fast enough, the bar drains the same way every time. A button combination shows up very slowly. And once the bar is drained, we, we press that and there's boss fight done. That's a boss. Uh, the official term the game uses is boss wrestle, because like you're machine B as a represent uh, to represent you struggling against the boss to like overpower him. All right, so now we're back to jungle exploration. Uh, yeah, this is like the most tech-heavy stages. I mentioned like the jumping in place uh, to get uh, to build up to running speed while you're able to move at running speed. Uh, what I haven't mentioned yet is that I'm doing as much as possible in midair. When you do things on the ground, you get stuck in animations, and yeah, it just makes things uh, 
things just go a lot smoother when we do thing when we do things in midair. Because if we do things in midair and then land on the ground, animation gets in interrupted. So yeah, we're gonna be collecting more um, more film reels. Yeah, here's a baby monkey. Say hello and say bye. So yeah, we need some alternate side paths to get enough film reels. Uh, luckily in this world, there's some gorillas that we saw in the first world that helped us. Uh, and yeah, we've already completed their bungee, bungee challenge, so they can help us. So we don't need to do the second bungee challenge to get the young apes, as they call it, to help us. Uh, so we can skip that, and yeah, that's skipping that is what, uh, yeah, what makes us miss four film reels or miss out on four film reels. So here we go. Is our gorilla friend yell at him and go? All right, just get again on this film. Re oh, oops. Okay, that path was too dangerous. I'm gonna go the other way. I'm so much I'm so much trouble just not laughing whenever I do that. Ah, uh, it's the classic meme of of pretending a death is uh, is accidental, but in in reality it's intention it is intentional. So yeah, we can both. So as I explained before, there's a reel on each path uh, before they converge again, uh, which would be at this point. And yeah. So we're gonna do that again here. Uh, this is again for rounding purposes, so we can just get all the film reels that we need in a single visit. All right, so here we're gonna do the same thing again. Just get the film reel and then jump into a pit. Uh, the reason we do the alternate path first is because uh, the normal path has checkpoints before it converges and sometimes you can't go back but the alternate path doesn't so if you die anywhere in the alternate path ah, there we go if you die anywhere in the alternate path it gets it puts you back to the yeah to the point before the path splits and then you can go the other way and i also mentioned the game stores progress as soon as you get it so we still keep the film reel that we got from the alternate path Alright, so I climbed for a little bit. Normally climbing is slow and you would just want to jump. But what's slower than anything in the world is ledge grabs. So I climb a little bit so I can just jump onto the platform instead of jumping up towards a ledge grab. Also, that film reel, you're guaranteed to get that. I've experimented lots of times with it. No matter where you are in the trunk at that point, you'll always get it. Again, hitboxes are big. Yeah, he just we just do some more dodging, and that's the end of the stage. Have you seen the children? He's gonna have a a uh, a mother ask us if we've seen the children, which technic technically we should answer with yes, we have actually seen them. All right, so I've got some good news and some bad news. We have another other scroller, but it's the last one in the run. It's up to you to decide which is the good and which is the bad news. Uh, so more donations, perhaps. Generations. Well, let's see if we have any generations, but we're still waiting for the good stuff. And meanwhile, you can support us other ways by, for example, just telling people about it. Watch this amazing man run this amazing game. I mentioned it's Disney Block. Lots of childhood memories for a lot of people coming up. And, well, what can you do while watching? Maybe you need a nice incentive. So, I can imagine a lot of people played Uncharted. I mean, it's it's fitting. We are in the jungle of Tarzan, so... We will have there, and we have actually an incentive there. You can choose to play a skin. It could be either Elena, Sullivan, Wetsuit Drake, or Donut Drake. And I have... No idea how Donut Drake actually looks, but it's currently in the lead with $25. If you want one of the other options, or make this one a reality. 
Go for it. Donate towards that. Also, just remind you why we're here. Um, we know we have some trying times currently with the whole COVID-19 outbreak to quarantine. And of course, it's also affecting ESA and other events. They get rescheduled, they get delayed, they get cancelled. To help us in these times, we have organized ESA together with amazing runners like Double Double, like Becky before and many more to come. So, and all of them are helping here. We are trying to get some donations in to support all these events that they can survive those trying times to provide you with speedrun goodness on site and online. All right, thank you. Uh, one thing I want to quickly mention about the second Elder Scroll is that the first two film reels are very finicky. Uh, it can be very tricky to get onto the rail for the first one. If you miss it, there's no way to get it, and you'll you you will miss it. There's no like backup you can do, and the same with the second one. If you try to go for the rail it's on right away, uh, it can easily bounce you off because this game's physics are weird. So yeah, what I do is I let next to it, and then you know just kind of veer towards it, and then. Uh, and then jump onto it and go for it and use the hitboxes. Okay, remember this guy. You throw the lasso at me. It's unavoidable. I just match B to uh, yeah to break out of it. Get the film rule and die. Uh, yeah, it's another one of those alternate path death warps. Uh, that was the last one of the run though. Alright, so here, a thing that looks cool but saves no time at all. Lily pad skip. Now, on this one, I want to rail jump, wait a little bit before rail jumping, otherwise I jump over the rail and miss it. Also, some very rapid jumping. Also, bird punch! Okay, so I didn't get bird punch. I missed the bird, but it missed me, so we're good. No birds were harmed in the making of this speedrun. Now, this is an encounter, as we call it, which is like, uh, fight an enemy, uh, mash beat to fill a bar, to overpower them. I've mentioned it before. For some reason, the trigger zone is so small, you can walk around it. Also, here we just jump over. Yeah, there's more of those birds, but we can just dodge them, we don't have to hurt them. Go figure, this is one of the few games where birds are not jerks. You may question if this is actually a video game. Now, there's a neat soft lock I could do here, but uh, it will lose a lot of time, so we'll, uh, I'll avoid it. If I jump off a specific... Uh, if I hit the, tr the base of that trunk at a specific spot, then... Uh, yeah, I get teleported somewhere, the screen will uh, freak out, and... You will not be able to do anything other than bring up the HUD or pause the game and exit the level. Alright, so here, more spear throws to avoid encounters. Uh, we had an encounter in the first stage, if you uh, were paying attention. Also, yeah, remember that lasso guy? Uh, so, this is what I wanted you to remember him for. Alright, so yeah, as you can see, the animation on the ground is quite slow. So, that's called lasso skip. We call it the skip because when you play this casually, you'll be just boosting forward and... You'll land in this trigger zone, uh, which will mean he will throw. He will throw his lasso at you, and it's unavoidable. In fact, if you throw a spear, he will actually ignore the spear and be immune to it, and still bind you with his lasso. Uh, but yeah, as you can see there, if you stand on the very edge of the platform, uh, you can you're outside his trigger zone, and you can hit him. Also, I jump off of these overhead vines because it's faster. And I'm going to throw a spear here, just to make this a little bit easier. I can also jump punch him. Uh, but yeah, throwing a spear is just easier to manage. Now, here's the second boss fight. Now, if you thought these, uh, the bosses in this game would have variety, uh, you would be mistaken. The only thing they do to mix this up 
is, if you look at the top right of the screen, uh, boss is two hits, and if you look at the bottom of the screen, the button combo is... Uh, is four buttons. X, B, Y, A. The, uh, it's the Xbox Yai of Arcade. Also, also worthy to mention, uh, when you play this from a new game, the button combos are always the same. There's no RNG in that either. Also, Eagle Eye viewers uh, may have noticed that Tarzan drowned and died when, uh, whenever I fell into water. He can swim here. And yeah, this is always ABXY. Yeah, that is it. That's the second boss. So yeah, it, so you could say that the bosses are an auto roller because the thre threshold, as I explained before, as long as you're above the mashing threshold, the bar will always drain at the same speed. Over mashing will not speed it up. Uh, but I I tend to mash like mostly fast just to make sure. And good show, my boy. These may just have the answers we need. Let's take a look. Yeah, I'm staying quiet because I, I want you to enjoy the voice acting that there is in the game. There's more voice acting in the cutscenes that we're skipping, but, you know, there's some bits and pieces like that where it's unskippable and I want you to enjoy the voice cast. I am not sure if the voice cast is the same as the, uh, the voice actors from the official movie. Uh, I don't know that because I never saw this movie in English. Okay, so here, jump off, jump again, punch, and get spears. So if I jump in midair and then land in the spot where if I was on the ground, I would have would have grabbed the spears, I will magically get them. Also, I throw a snake at that spear. Technically too early. Uh, I throw it so early that he sees it coming and dodges, but that disables his hitbox for the encounter so we can get past him. Okay, cool. So yeah, you can also use spears to break open the cages. Don't worry, the gorillas will be fine. Tarzan has very good aim. Yeah, so the, those overhead climbs are pretty slow as well. So I want to do the minimum climbing possible. Uh, and then let go. But I, uh, I don't want to fall off and die. Because that would be even slower. So we're back to saving the baby monkeys again. And that's because... We need help from the baboons that we're going to be seeing up here. To access the final boss and... To access the final boss and beat the game, uh, there's a side path in the last level that we can only access if we... Uh, get the the baboons' help. And for that one, we need to beat uh, the, uh, the bungee challenge that you get for saving all the baby monkeys in this world. Now... The structure of this game is that the first world, as you saw, has every stage type. Then the second world had two jungle explorations and one water ski. Uh, so this world is going to have two jungle explorations and a surfing stage in between. So I throw two spears to basically stun him so I can just walk past him. Also... Also, I'm going to normally climb here, because if I jump, uh, it's going to drag me back down to the snake, because his trigger zone becomes active again. So that's one instance where you want to climb. If you couldn't tell, I've spent a lot of time optimizing some of the smallest points in this game. Unfortunately, there's, there's a few things I haven't found yet, which I really would like to... Either be found. I don't care if it's me that finds it or someone else who's uh, who I may have made excited about the running this game. Uh, I do not know. Also, arachnophobia warning, by the way. Anyone who has arachnophobia, look away for five seconds. Alright, you can look again. See, I, I'm, I'm, th I'm thinking of y'all.
Okay, cool, that can happen. So I did not let go of a button or press a button. Uh, yeah, those overhead climbs can randomly drop you. But yeah, I've spent a lot of time optimizing things. But yeah, what I haven't found yet is a way to skip the requirement for 45 film reels and also not needing the baboon's help to access the final boss. Also, I apologize about not giving more arachnophobia warnings. So the reason I do that is because we had a meme about it. Uh... Yeah, there's a bit of a meme about it. Uh, during one of my marathon runs, I decided to do that for no reason whatsoever. And as it turns out, uh, at some points I decided to stop for a few seconds just so I could give a proper arachnoph uh, arachnophobia warning to people. And in the end, those extra seconds of stopping made me miss out on world record. That, run that marathon run could have been world record if I didn't do that. And that's how the arachno warning meme was born. It's all good though, I have gotten a better world record since, because world record, world record at the time of that run was 40.02 and currently it's a 39.20, uh, both held by me. Uh, since I started running this game, I've pretty much held world record indefinitely. Oh, I haven't, okay. So one thing I haven't explained at all this entire run is ammo management. This game has ammo management. If you can physically touch a spear you threw, uh, you get it back. And he actually came into play there, because I ran out of spears for throwing throwing at the guy. So here's the surfing stage. So another te technique that I completely failed to explain is back bonking. Uh, it's very on the nose. You use the backside of your board to bonk on the wall. You may have noticed it during the first stage that I did it, and for some reason didn't get damaged. So while, the, while Tarzan's entire board has collision detection, there's no hit detection on the backside. Alright, so we have different pathways for uh, to go through the through the stage here. Not one is not really faster than the other. It's just mostly a matter of how well can you manage, like what what path can you manage the the easiest. Ah, oh, again, my jump got eaten. So it, so that's not actually completely correct. It's not that my jump input got eaten, but. I press jump on a frame where the game considers me in midair, and then you can jump. You can jump on every possible frame uh, where you're touching the water, but any point where the game considers you in midair and not touching the water, you cannot jump. So if I line this up correctly, I will not get hit by the fish. Also, yeah, those fish do damage. You wouldn't think it, but it does. Does the game make sense sometimes? No. But hey, it's cool. You know, I love this game. It's what I it's what I like to refer to as a childhood gem. Every man has them, you know. Those uh those games that may or may not be the greatest game ever made, but you love them for because you played them as a kid and you have a very uh, you enjoy them a lot as a kid. You had a lot of fun playing it or like you uh, spend a lot of time 100%ing it multiple times or something like that. Yeah, that's those kinds of games, I invented the term childhood gems for that, for myself. Oh. So, yeah. So, also what back bonking do does is it preserves your momentum in the direction where you're going. So, in the first stage, we also used it to take turns efficiently, blah, blah, blah. Uh, in this stage, the waterways are too wide to use it, so we use it... Is instead use its other property, which is, um, which is avoiding damage. Because if you get hit a lot, uh, that stage will completely wreck you if you're not careful. All right, so this is the final proper stage of the game, but we're going to be playing it twice. Well, one time and a bit. So here we have. So yeah, this is one of those mash B encounters that we've seen a few times. It's unavoidable. You can't get spears. There's no way around the trigger zone, and you can get spears before this point, so... But yeah, that side path that you saw, that you see over there, that's where we need to go. But we need the baboon's help to access that. So we have to play the full proper stage. 
uh, and rescue the baby monkeys, followed by the the bungee challenge. I accidentally did a bit of an old strat that is slower, which is throw the spear at the snake after you land. You can throw it in midair. Okay, so throw two spears properly. Uh, I'll take one back. As I said, you can do ammo management in this game. Just damage boost through the gems, it's fine. As long as we don't lose speed, we're good. I've... Well, maybe when I was playing this casually for like the first time or something, I wouldn't know that's many years ago. But uh, since I started speedrunning this, I've never died on these stages from running out of health. The only times I would die is if I fall fell in a pit. So I'm very not worried about taking hits in this. That's not to say I will take hits on purpose and be reckless, but... Uh, yeah. I, I, like, I am confident in my ability to, uh, to play this video game. And to be fair, this run has barely had any big mistakes. Like, the only big mistake that happened was missing the film reel in the first auto-scroller. And that was the first one, so I could immediately quit out and restart the stage. So even that didn't lose me too much time. I have had no deaths yet, outside from the death warps, which you always have so you don't lose time on that. Also, another Regnophobia warning. Okay, cool, that hit. Sometimes the spear will miss. Oh, land back on, please. That jump is very risky. Because uh, Tarzan can sometimes... As you saw, Tarzan got pushed aside, to the side by the spire. And yeah, sometimes it can make you fall next to the thing. Also, we cannot spear this guy because we have a baby. We have a baby on board. Well, yeah, I've, I've mostly shown pretty much what this run is. Uh, a lot of, like, movement optimization using the tech that exists. Uh, yeah, knowing, like, the small things you can skip, like Gorilla Skip, which I failed, Lasso Skip, which I showed off. Uh, way back in the first stage, landing underneath those rooms to grab the film reel, which is faster than bouncing on them and backtracking. Yeah, there's uh, not too much left to say. There's a couple There's a couple small exploits that I have not talked about yet. That we'll be seeing at the end of this stage. Also, by the way, uh, just to get that explanation out of the way. Uh, I don't need any more film reels. After I got the... Okay, you know what? You get to live. Again, throwing spears uh, does many, many nice things. So yeah, the water slowed me down a lot there. I can't avoid it by jumping, but that means I would have to manually aim myself. Which is uh, not the greatest thing. So here's the new piece of tech. Alright. So the counter comes on the screen for three baby monkeys in the bottom right, so I can exit. Uh, again, as I mentioned before. Game stores progress as soon as you get it. We've saved all the baby monkeys, so... Um... So yeah, we can exit early. Normally, that doesn't work because it doesn't because doing that un doesn't unlock the next stage. But that exit doesn't unlock the next stage anyway. Also, I that is unfortunate. That's a big time loss. Because as I mentioned before, in these bungee stages, you have to no hit them to beat them and get the film reel. I took one small hit. So yeah, this is a lot harder than the first one. Uh, the second one we skip. I haven't done that in forever. I don't even know what the second one looks like. So, I'll take... Okay, that is very unfortunate. Alright, well, that's big mistake number two. Alright, focus time. Gonna warm up my hands. Gonna ask for a bit of support from Church Chat. I know how, how powerful Twitch Chat support can be. For Twitch chat! There we go. Now, again, pause and exit. And that works. It will count as having completed the bungee challenge, and I can uh, go and beat the game now. Now, you may remember the first bungee challenge where I didn't do it. That's because it doesn't work. On the first stage, you can pause. We don't know why. It's just how the game is. So on the first one, you can pause. 
But on this one you can, which is fortunate, because, you know, it lets us exit out early and... Uh, and save time. Alright, so, you know, at this point there's nothing that really can go wrong. Alright, so I'm gonna skip these spears. Alright, so press the button. So I press the button, I got hit on purpose to cancel the animation and I jump up to it and the thing is because it's triggered to uh, have the baby monkeys form the ladder as soon as you jump onto it it will insta form the ladder and let you on. Uh, that's something I actually only discovered during practice yesterday. Now here's the final boss, I'll let uh... Yeah I'll hand it over for uh, some more donations and stuff while uh, the final phase is. It's th three hits, five buttons. Same like gimmick as before. All right, thank you. So we're still <coughs> a bit dry, but that doesn't matter. We had a lot of water at least in the game. So yeah. How about, oh God. How about some fabulous prices? <laughs> One moment, uh, one moment by the way. Alright, so uh, get ready on time. Time is gonna be when... On the last button input on the button combination. I will also call out time. So I guess I, uh, I guess we'll wait with the price things after we call time. Because you know, it's, it's not very long by now. It's just drain this bar, input the button combo and we're done. Sure. I tend to overestimate how long this is. And time! That now since the run's nice done, I can let this cutscene play at least. So I've put the controller down so I can't accidentally skip it. So yeah, enjoy. Alright, and while we're watching this cutscene, thank you for this amazing run. I'd like to remind you about our prices. If you donate now at least either 15 20 or $25, you can get some fabulous stuff from HyperX, our sponsor. Either an RGB mouse pad, a nice wireless mouse, or a fancy headset. Uh, the amount is not just a single donation, it's during the event. So you can trickle them in, like $5 here, $10 there. If you get to $25, you are in for those headsets. And also... We are currently sitting at 1,200 viewers, and maybe you can get this higher. Tell your friends, tell your family, watch ESA together, together. Either with a partner, with a roommate, with your spouse, whoever it is. And if you, see, if you like what you're seeing, donate towards it. The networks are great incentives. For example, the skin, the player skin on Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Currently, Donut Drake is leading. It all helps us provide you more of these amazing events. And Double Double, do you have any last words? Oh, I was thinking of trying to do a Tarzan yell, but let's not. No, uh... Yeah, 1,200 viewers. That is amazing. Th thank uh, all 1,200 of you for watching this run. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I did a decent job of explaining. I know there's, there were a lot of moments where I was like, oh, what I... The one thing I haven't explained at all this run yet. Uh, but yeah, again, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I've been Double Double. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll be back in this marathon next Thursday for uh, more games with animals. Uh... I also want to say I'm, I was very honored to. Uh, I would. I'm. I felt very honored. It's something I neglected to mention, which I'm very sorry for, because I was very honored to be opening the Disney block here at ESA together. Very thankful for this opportunity. Uh, yeah, to both run this game and open the Disney block. And we're going to be continuing with uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix HD, if I'm not mistaken, which is a very nice mouthful. Yes, we are, <laughs> which is 
well, probably one of the weirder Disney-related games. But anyway, it's run I... by Rebel Dragon. It's an amazing run. Watch it. Support us. And that was also my last run. I'm heading over, giving over to RoboSparkle, who will be your host and donation reader for the next few hours. So thank you. It was amazing. And goodbye. Yes, goodbye for me as well. <laughs>